What's up everyone, this is like Crazy Teddy, and welcome back to another gameplay commentary video here on my channel today. In this one, we've got a pretty interesting topic that we are going to be talking about, especially if you're a massive Call of Duty and Black Ops fan. And before this video begins and we talk about the DLC information that was given, let me just quickly introduce the gameplay that you guys are going to be seeing in the background because I go off on this one. We are playing some hardcore free-for-all on Combine and I pick up a gun and I believe I get two mega kills during this game and go on like a 20 seven gun streak it's pretty crazy by far one of the fastest free for alls i've ever had on this game maybe not on call of duty overall but pretty entertaining so i hope you guys do enjoy that and let's get into the information right now the playstation experience keynote is going on and they just made a massive announcement as you guys may know playstation is going to be getting time exclusivity on all of the dlcs for call of duty black ops 3 because they've partnered up with activision i believe we also got the beta early and a bunch of other things well Thanks to their partnership, they have now announced on their stage a brand new Black Ops 3 DLC which is going to be coming early 2016 on the PlayStation 4 and then of course a month after on the Xbox and the other consoles and the PC. And I'm pretty certain that doesn't actually include last gen. So during the PlayStation Experience keynote, Activision and Treyarch officially announced the first downloadable content pack for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and it's going to be called Awakening. This DLC pack will be available, as we know, first on the PlayStation 4 due to the partnership between PlayStation and Activision that we've seen in the past was of course time exclusivity given to Microsoft's Xbox and then of course they would get DLCs early but we know with this cycle it's going to be completely different. The DLC includes four new multiplayer maps, new zombies content and much more. Now from the image you can't really see the names of the maps as much. I think there's a couple of people on Twitter like talking about the names of the maps and they got a better look and everyone who was of course sitting in the audience and shit probably knows what they're called but as of now I have no clue. I'm very very excited not only for the multiplayer but extremely for the zombies as well as the other additional content that they talked about. Hopefully we're going to be getting some new guns. I know in Black Ops 2 we did get a gun DLC. I think it was during the first DLC or something but after that we didn't get any more gun DLC so for me what I'd really like to see from Treyarch is a gun DLC as part of this Awakening DLC as well as every other slot of DLC that we do get that would be pretty sick with Black Ops 2 of course you guys may remember we got the Peacekeeper but after that they announced that they weren't going to be bringing any more gun DLC so it's like a one-time thing hopefully this time they throw in a bunch of shit customization options attachments guns and from what I can just tell this is going to be awesome okay because it's Treyarch here and these guys are going all out. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section if you think you have any more intel on the names of the maps where they're going to be based anything regarding the zombies then feel free to let me know down below in the comment section. I'm more than likely going to be making a follow up video on this letting you guys know all the names of the maps the locations stuff like that what the zombies is going to be called where it's going to be located so subscribe drop a thumbs up on this video if you guys did enjoy and stay tuned for some more awesome content on my YouTube channel. Peace out.